Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now right now we are watching the Olympics with our families on TV and pretty much everywhere we go we hear about the Olympics, right? But a, a lesser known sort of competition similar to the Olympics will be the Paralympics or Rio's Paralympic Games. Similar to the Olympics, they compete or they join or participate or try to win in different exercises and sports and competitions but Paralympics is for people who are not 100% healthy they have a disability maybe they don't have an arm or they don't have a leg when someone has a disability they are not 100% um, healthy or capable they have some sort of sickness or disease that makes them um, you know Paralympians so Rio de Janeiro in Brazil will be the first South American city to host the Paralympic Games. South Korea will be sending 81 athletes. Athletes are people you know, in, that are competing, right? Uh, Kim Yona is an ice skating athlete to compete or to try to win in 11 sporting events. This year, more than 4,000 athletes from over 170 countries will participate. They will join. Just like the Olympics, fans around the world are excited to see the para-athletes. Again, not regular athletes, but handicapped or you know, people who have disabilities who don't have an arm or don't have a leg. In the 2016 Summer Rio Paralympics from September 7th to the 18th. The Paralympics features or showcases or presents shows athletes with either disabilities or impairments. So this is what makes them para-athletes, right? Disabilities and impairments. The difficulty of life for disabled people makes becoming a para-athlete such a tremendous feat. So again, disabled people, they can't, you know, have regular lives. They need a wheelchair or maybe they need a fake arm or, you know, they can't see or something like that. The goal, the mission of the Paralympics is to show that people with disabilities have talent, they have skills, and can overcome their limits through sports. They can win just the same as you and I, as healthy people. This will be the 15th, the 15th year Summer Paralympic Games, which began in 1989. Now, South Korea's disabled athletes will have the chance to bring home the gold. According to Kim Sung-il, President of the Korea Sports Association for the Disabled, the athletes are excited to compete. They're excited to run and swim and really compete for South Korea. After taking nine gold medals in London 2012, Korea is expecting to earn 10 this year. Let's cheer on our parallel athletes as they inspire the next generation of disabled children around the world. So children, disabled children, sick children, when they see these parallel athletes, they will be inspired. They, they will feel this motivation to try hard. Like, yeah, I'm disabled, but I can be a winner too, right? Of course you can. All right, we have three review terms here. We're going to go over, or review questions, excuse me. A, what will be held in Rio de Janeiro? The blank games will be held in Rio de Janeiro. So again, we're not talking about regular Olympics, we're talking about a separate Olympics for disabled or handicapped people, people who are sick. So we say that is called Paralympics Games, right? Paralympic. Para means you can't move a body part or you're missing a body part. B. How many Korean athletes will participate? A total of 81 Korean athletes will participate to blank in 11 sporting events. So again, the Olympics and Paralympics, one thing they have in common is there's a gold, silver, and bronze, right? Not everyone can get a gold. You have to be the fastest, you have to be the best, you have to be the strongest, right? So they're all trying to be number one. And what that says is they are competing. When many people are competing, they're all trying to be number one, all right? C. What is the goal of the Paralympics? The goal of the Paralympics is to show the blank of the para-athletes. 
So these para-athletes, even though they are sick or they're handicapped or they may be paralyzed, they still have you know, some skill, they still have something to offer and we say that can be talent. When someone has a talent, they are very good at something. So Kim Yuna has a very, she has a talent for ice skating and Park Tae-won has a talent for swimming. Okay, we have three review terms here. A, this year more than 4,000 athletes from over 170 countries will blank. So from all these different countries, many athletes are coming. They're coming to join this one game, right? This is the one place that, the one contest that they're all trying to do and they're all joining in. And another way we can say that is to participate. When you participate, you are joining and you are doing it as well. So when you participate in a soccer game, you are running and kicking. If you don't participate, you're just watching and uh, sitting, right? B, the Paralympics features athletes with either blank or impairments. So impairments means that they can't use their body correctly or they're missing a body part or they can't see. So it's a noun, right? So we want something that is a noun and that says something when people have this, they cannot move or live you know, 100% healthy like you and I. So we say that is a disability. When somebody has a disability, they you know, cannot use their body the we normally use, the way we normally use it. C. Now South Korea's blank athletes will have the chance to bring home the gold. So it's a very similar word here. This here, it's a noun. But for here, we need to use an adjective to describe these athletes. What kind of athletes are they? Are they fast athletes, smart athletes, big athletes, small athletes? Well, we're talking about athletes that can't you know, use their body 100% normally. So we say that is a disabled athlete. So again, this is an adjective and this is a noun. So to review, participate means to join in on an activity or on an event. Disability is when you have a disability, you have a sickness or a disease or you have some sort of impairment that makes you, uh, that makes you unable to use your body normally. Disabled athletes, we say this is an adjective, it's describing an athlete. We can say a disabled cow or disabled animal. If an animal doesn't have a leg, right, or is missing an arm, we say that is a disabled animal. All right? So I know that the Olympics are going on right now, but as soon as the Olympics finish, we have one more bonus chance to cheer on for our country and for our para-athletes. All right, thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. My name is Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.